Hi, welcome to your daily tarot reading. This is your reading for Friday the 16th of September. It's really nice to be with you today. I'm using the Tho deck for today's reading and I'm going to give the cards a bit of a shuffle here and then I'm going to choose three cards which will give me an insight into the day's energy and what you'll be working with. So, shuffle them around a little bit. Here's card number one, card number two, card number three. Okay. Let's see what we've got. First card is the Two of Cups, which is love. Then we have the Prince of Wands and Prudence. Okay, so the Two of Cups is about love, romance, two things coming together, um, intertwining and really experiencing beautiful, loving feelings. We've got Venus here, the planet that rules love and beauty. And we also have the sign Cancer. Cancer is about being nurturing, being very loyal, uh, being family oriented, connecting with another person on an emotional level, and really getting in touch with the more intuitive feeling side of life. So this is a really nice place to start on this day. Then we have the Prince of Wands. And the Prince of Wands, you can see, brings real fire and excitement. Okay, so... What I sense is that someone who you love, someone you're very close with, may have an idea or may propose something to you which may seem shocking. And it may seem totally radical and outrageous and uh, risky and really fiery and exciting. And your natural tendency would be to maybe be a little bit cautious or to be prudent about it. This card, the Eight of Pentacles here, Prudence. Um, and maybe to say, well, you know, let's just keep things steady. Let's just keep things going the way they have been. Why fix something that's not broken? But what the cards are saying is that this idea, if you align yourself with this person's message, idea, plan for the future, and you judge it for yourself. It's not very visible here, but we've got the sign of Virgo on this tree trunk. Virgo is about making sense of things being analytical, looking at the details and making a decision. Either this is good or it's bad. We've got the sun here, which is energy, which is your, um, your sense of strength and what makes you feel alive. And these pentacles have to do with taking practical action. Sometimes it's to do with work and money, but it's about taking grounded, realistic, practical things and putting them in place. Okay. So, if this person who's close to you suggests something that is totally outside of your comfort zone, look at it in detail, listen to your own feelings, see if it makes sense, and go with that. Run it past your own kind of internal judgment system first. If it seems reasonable, but a little bit risky and daring, it's okay to go ahead with it. If it seems, if it seems absolutely like a harebrained scheme or a bad idea, then get rid of it, okay? If it feels a little bit tentative and you are uncertain, that's normal and that's natural and that's your green light to go ahead with whatever it is today. But if it's a total absolutely not, so if you have really strong negative feelings as a result of this thing being introduced to you, then don't go ahead with it. Okay. So this is your judgment, but it still challenges you to step outside of your usual comfort zone a little bit and to take a risk. If you do take a risk, it will work out well, it will fire things up, and you won't lose the relationship. It will be something that is a prudent risk, something that will then reap rewards, and you'll be able to harvest the good things that come out of this situation. Okay, so give yourself a little bit of a push on this day if things seem a bit scary or unknown. But isn't this exciting? Something wonderful and new could start today, and it could really add real abundance and prosperity to your life. So listen to the messages other people are presenting to you. Don't dismiss them, even if they seem a little bit, wow, you know, I could never even contemplate that. Because sometimes what I've noticed is that people who are very gifted and very talented often don't see their own gifts and talents. And sometimes they tend to think small and they tend to think along the lines of, okay, I have to slowly, gradually build up. But sometimes these amazing big things can happen all at once and they can save you years of effort and they can save you so much time. Number wise, we've got two and one is three and eight 
is 11 and 11 is the master number of service okay so this other person presenting an idea to you is doing service for you presenting you with something amazing life-changing and when you actually get busy with this idea and you start implementing it you will have a positive impact on other people this thing isn't just going to benefit you everyone involved is going to benefit okay so the key thing for today is take a risk everyone will come out smiling things will turn out well and all you have to do is have faith and trust and put in the legwork to make this a reality. And I think you'll be very pleased with the outcome at the end of the day. So that's interesting. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and you can order your reading with me there. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I'll speak to you tomorrow.